Hey guys and welcome back. This is Safe and today we will dive into two popular note-taking websites, Evernote and OneNote. After this video, you will be able to decide which one of these two websites is actually better for you and more suitable to your own preferences. So let's get started. Here is Evernote and here is OneNote. So in order to start comparing between both of them, we will need to start a new note by clicking here on new note and then we shall go to one note and click on new and let's name it comparison and here are our two notes so basically the first part that we will discuss is the pricing in Evernote by clicking on upgrade you will be able to see their own pricing list. So there are four plans that you can compare between their feature and you can decide what is best for you. However, in OneNote, it's only one plan and this plan is for free. So this is an edge for OneNote over, over Evernote. Second point of comparison is the templates. In Evernote, you can embed and insert temp uh, templates inside your own note. This can be done from suggested templates here. You can choose one of these four of these three templates, and if you just don't want these templates, you can go and open the gallery to access more templates. And here you can see that it's still loading. And here we can see dozens of, t of templates that you can choose from. And each template has its own purpose. So let's choose any one of them, like this first one. And here you will find that your template is embedded inside your own note. However, in OneNote, there is no such an option. You will not be able to insert a template. So this is an edge for Evernote over OneNote. Third property that, that we are going to discuss is the synchronization. Both of them are actually the same. If we went to Evernote, we will find that it's actually saved automatically and it's also, also saved. So if I ref refresh this page, I will find that my own edits have, has, have actually been saved. So here is the template that, that I have inserted before refreshing. And in OneNote, you can see that this icon, which shows you that your own page or your own note is automatically saved on the web. So they are both the same in this point. Next point we are going to discuss is the collaboration with other teammates. Both of them are actually even the same, where you can just go and share your own note with others. You can do this by enabling a shareable link, copy and paste it to anyone you want, or you can just invite any person by email here. You can do exactly the same in OneNote, that if we click on share, we will be, be able to share entire notebook. We will be able to copy a link. And we will also be able to invite others with email here perfect the other features that i'm going to discuss is the ability to save your notes on your own device and they actually are the same in this point as well you can go to uh, evernote here click on this more actions then choose print then save as PDF, and once you click on save, it will be available on your own device. You can do the same for OneNote. You can click on share, share entire notebook. No, I think I, I did something wrong, sorry. You can go to file, I guess, here. Yeah, and you can click on print. Then you can click on print this page. Then you can choose save as PDF. And once you click on save, you will be able to save your own note. 
Now I will discuss two features that actually uh, are not uh, are in Evernote and are not in OneNote. The first one is the ability to use AI. So here I will just cancel this. By clicking on your note, you will be able to use AI cleanup here. If I click on AI cleanup, it will allow me to um, clean up all the mistakes in my note, make it more organized, and make it cleaner without mistakes. So I will just l let the magic work and I will give it a couple of seconds. Then after it's done, we will see the difference. Let's just give it a couple of seconds and it will be done. And it's done. So as you can see here, it has become more clean. Even it used some formats, like it, it made some text bold and made some text colored. It also uh, organized my own note. So there is a major difference. This is the first feature. The second feature that exists in Evernote and does not exist in OneNote is the things to do or the to-do list. This is done by going to new here and choose task. However, this feature requires paid subscription. I will show you one of these examples. Here is a to-do list that I have created before. As you can see, this is like a template that you can create using your own Evernote and you can identify your tasks and once you are done with the task you can click on this radio button and it will be removed out of your own list so you can do this using Evernote and it's not available on OneNote now let's talk about one feature that exists in OneNote and does not exist in Evernote which is free drawing you can go to the draw section in which you will be able to free draw anything you want you can use it to circle on specific texts. You can also use different colors, different kind of, pe of pens that you can free draw with. For OneNote, there is an additional version that you can use, which is the desktop version, which you can use by going to share, uh, sorry, by going to, um, let me check. I think it's by going to editing and click on this drop down menu. Yes, exactly. And here you will find open in desktop app. So you can use this to enter the version of the desktop, which contains many features rather than this website version. And now you can pick the right website for you. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you like, 